you, you get this kind of idea that, right, okay, the life of Jesus, let's start with that first. The life of Jesus, he spent his youth being raised by Mary and Joseph, um, up until around about the age of, what, 15, something like that. And then um, he went to India and became a yogi. That's, that's one claim. Uh, Spirit Science, uh, you know, well-known YouTuber Spirit Science, who uh, is neither truly all that spiritual, that's very subjective, and isn't actually promoting science, he claims he was in this secret um, order, or this specialist Gnostic order, of the Nazarenes. So you have people saying these claims. You also have other people saying, oh right, uh, he lived as a trader, and he went around and did stuff. Or uh, he was a slave and uh, yeah, taken by the Romans. We don't know any of this. We have zero evidence for any of these claims. We don't even have enough evidence to say Jesus Christ was a genuine historical character. Even if we do, we have no way of saying any of the miracles happened. And we have no reason to say then that he was indeed an enlightened being. And if you read the Bible, if you use that as your uh, historical backbone to say, oh, that's largely true, which parts do you pick? I mean, this is the problem with moderates. They'll, they'll, they'll nitpick, they'll cherry pick. Oh, we like that quote. Yeah, that's a good quote right there. We'll take that one. But with New Age, it's far worse because we're going to take that one, we're going to take that one. We're going to rethink that one. And you know what? My spirit guides are telling me that he was, uh, he was actually okay with the gays as well. So yeah, he was a very nice liberal guy. And oh yeah, yeah, he was, a, he was a socialist. He was this, he was that. And it's just bullshit. People cherry pick what they want based on their own worldview, with New Age is far worse, especially, and I'm getting to my point, the idea of channelers and reincarnations of Jesus. How many New Age Jesuses are there around the world? Well, I could name three that are worth noting. Then I think, and I could name two more, who are kind of fucking nutcases. And then I think again, and I could name more than that, so yeah, you have people like A.J. Miller in Australia. What does he bring forward? New Age ideas that have been around for years. Any higher information? Anything new? Anything interesting? Um, in answer to your question, um, most of us have injuries with the feminine or the masculine or both. Not really. <laughs> does he get a lot, a lot of following? Does he convert people? Yeah. He's buying up land and setting up his own like compound practically. But yeah, a fraud, essentially. I mean, you know, sue me if you wish. Prove your Jesus and I will accept you. And it's like, oh, well, I don't have to prove myself because uh, uh, that, sound, that sounded a bit more like Ray Comfort. The banana and the hand are perfectly made one for the other. But um, yeah, I, I don't have to prove myself because uh, I, it says in the book that, uh, you know, he doesn't have to prove himself and I shouldn't do miracles because, you know, you'll end up with, uh, you know, fakers doing that and, you know, false prophets who will use these tricks to try and convert people. And you have um, a gal called, oh, what's the fucking name? She used to call herself Matreya Miranda. Her name's Miranda something or other. And she calls herself something else now. She claims to be the feminine Christ, a reincarnation and awakening the Christ in feminine form. She lives in Glastonbury for most of the year. She goes over to uh, Chichen Itza, um, over to various other spiritual or mystical sites around the world based on her courses. She does various workshops, various courses, uh, interviews, and she makes money that way. So yeah, she is another one who's claiming it. And I see no reason to accept AJ as being more legitimate than her, or for that matter, Ron Spencer, uh, Ronald Lloyd Spencer, a former trucker, then realised he was the Buddha and Jesus and several other characters rolled into one. Yeah, the new Buddha and Jesus Christ. So he calls himself the Buddha Maitreya the Christ. Yeah, there's, there's humble spirituality for you. Yeah, so humble that he has to call himself various titles to be true. What, is, what are his teachings? What are the truths of his teachings? New Age rhetoric again. This is the thing, the theme with most of these people. The same New Age mass-produced philosophies and they differ. There are some mutually exclusive claims. Uh, Maitreya Miranda claims to be the main one. You know, well, you know, I came to, 
I, I had my awakening first and uh, that is why I am, you know, realizing this. Right. You see what I mean? This is very important. And uh, she says that and uh, AJ Miller claims to be literally the incarnation of Jesus. So that doesn't fit his view. Uh, Ron Spencer, he's been around for years doing it and I think he may have been uh, awoken, if that's the term, uh, head of well, that gal. You've got David Icke who claims to be the son of turquoise, the son of God. When you wear black, you attract a colour that is the opposite to love and uh, all the things we wish to bring to the earth. You've got various other individuals who make these claims, and how do they prove it? They spout common philosophy, ideas that are very positive, and make up stories. It's no better with the channelers, don't get me wrong. The people who claim to channel Jesus, I used to be, and people may know this, a Christian spiritualist. A Christian spiritualist is one who basically believes in mediumship and the general gist of mo moderate Christianity. So it's like, we believe that people talk to the dead is the idea, and I used to believe in that crap. And we believe in healing and other ideas too. But we also believe that Jesus is the strongest and highest spirit guide, spiritual guide. So the idea is you have mediums doing mediumship, which I believe is actually against a lot of the Old Testament anyway, you know, like uh, witches, sorcerers, mediums, depending on translation. But uh, yeah, and it's like there's also a Bible in there. So it's like Christian spiritualist. It's like, oh yeah, Jesus is a very high guide. So yeah, it's, it's, it's very bizarre. That you have these things going on, especially when people who give out information base what they give out, whether it's about their, oh, my previous incarnation, or, or oh, I'm channeling Jesus, or whatever the case may be, when they're doing this, they're basically saying what they reckon. The other side has finally given me permission to share a trans channel that I did of Jesus back in February of 2014. Based on their own limited philosophical views, their own limited ideas, they've got nothing new, nothing that can confirm itself. They don't confirm the validity of their claims, they just simply assert them. So yeah, uh, this is true, and why? Well, um, stuff, things, that, that's pretty much all they have. They don't have anything else, they just simply have the idea that, oh, it's true, because it's true, because I believe it's true, and this is my philosophy, and if you're critical of that and say, well, how do we prove it? You're seen as being non-spiritual or even negative. Very energetically chaotic. How can you even criticize such people? From inside a group, how can you say, well, that person is that? I mean, if you brought them together, a massive conference of, say, hundreds, of claimants of being Christ around the world, or being able to channel Christ, and you actually got their opinions, and then you know you or someone goes up on stage and says, "Well, you sir, you say that such and such is the case," whereas do da do da do da do da do da, they say it isn't. However, this person says that this is the case, whereas you, as well as these other people, say it isn't. Who is the true Jesus, my friends? And you wouldn't be able to answer that question because uh, they're probably all fake. I think that goes without saying. But also because they're deluding themselves or they're trying to make money out of the process. People believe they're Jesus or they're channeling Jesus and people buy into their horse shit belief. Of course, 